50 years since he started his Royal Navy career at Britannia Royal Naval College, the Prince of Wales returns, although a slightly different entrance to the one he made half a century ago. At the Britannia Royal Naval College, the start of a new training course for Prince Charles, who arrived wearing the uniform of an acting sub-lieutenant. Prince Charles served for five years in the Royal Navy and today is guest of honour as a new generation of Royal Navy leaders pass out at Dartmouth. The Prince of Wales took the time to speak to those passing out and embarking on a different chapter of their naval career. He himself served on HMS Norfolk, HMS Minerva and HMS Jupiter before qualifying as a helicopter pilot with 845 Naval Air Squadron. The Prince's final appointment in February 1976 was in command of the coastal mine hunter HMS Bronnington for his last nine months with the Royal Navy. He reflected on his naval career in his speech. Returning to Royal Naval College has a rather special place in the hearts of my family. My father, as Lord High Admiral himself, was extremely proud of his links to this college. And it was here that my mother and father first met in the captain's garden, while my grandfather, King George VI, carried out uh, the inspection of your predecessors. For myself, uh, it is somewhat alarming to think that 50 years ago, I was standing where you are as part of Lake Division on the eve of my own naval service, which to this day I still look back on with great fondness uh, and pride. Since Prince Charles walked the corridors of the college five decades ago, many things will have changed, but some might have stayed the same. During the course, Prince Charles will rise at 6 a.m. and spend a full day studying with his classmates until pipe down at 10.30 p.m. It's a special moment to have the Prince of Wales back at the college. So for the Royal Navy, our relationship with our Royal Family is, is obviously very strong indeed. But when you uh, host a member of the Royal Family who has commanded at sea, as His Royal Highness has, he understands the, uh, the, the occasion and also the journey these young men and women are about to embark on as well. It'll be a, a, a reflective moment, I'm sure, for His Royal Highness, but he will also recognise the importance, historic importance of this occasion for the young men and women who are passing out today. This parade is also the annual Lord High Admirals Divisions, where accolades are awarded to people who have excelled in training over the past 12 months. Loved ones watching weeks of hard work come to an end for these new Navy officers. And with the Prince of Wales saluting them, a day I'm sure they'll never forget. A proud moment for all. Really, really special occasion. Amazing to have my family here. Um, haven't seen them in a very long time. Um, amazing to have a VIP. Um, so yeah, really, really special. So proud. It's very emotional. Uh, going up the steps, especially on the slow march, is a, I was biting my lip going up. But it's a culmination of, so we've been here since May. So it's a culmination of all our training, all the ups, all the downs. Um, it's really, really good day for us. Having a role here especially makes it you know, a big day, especially to future King. Um, and for me to salute him when he came over to the division is, is an honour, I think, for me. And the prestigious moments didn't stop after the parade. This is the captain's garden that Prince Charles mentioned in his speech, where his parents met in 1939. He's planting a tree here, not only to commemorate 50 years since Prince Charles trained at the college, but the long-standing relationship between the royal family and the military. And then the historic visit came to an end. This is Prince Charles's final public engagement before Christmas, but I'm sure it won't be his last visit to Britannia Royal Naval College. Brani Williams, Forces News, Dartmouth.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.